Namaste. Welcome to this session on exponential and log transformer. Now exponential and log transformers are basically just like any other feature scaling technique really. It is simply applying a mathematical formula to the columns and scaling them accordingly. So if I check what we have been doing, for example, for max app scaler, we are simply dividing each observation by the absolute maximum value in that particular column. For robust scalar, I'm subtracting it by the median and dividing it by the IQR interquantile range. For min max, I'm subtracting it by the min minimum value and dividing it by the difference of the maximum and minimum values. And for standard scalar, I am subtracting the mean and dividing by the standard deviation. So similarly, in exponential and log transformer, we will either take the log of all the columns or the, of all the values in that column and use those scaled values or for scaling we we'll, can also for example take a square of those values or square roots of those values or cube root or any other uh, exponent exponential power that comes to our mind okay so for applying these transformations uh, we will be using scikit learns function transformer class to do this mathematical calculations for us so this could be useful on a case by case basis. We just need to check different things to uh, check if we are getting a normal curve. If uh, the distribution after scaling is a Gaussian distribution or not, which is, uh, which is extremely important if we are dealing with linear based models. Now we will look at implementation in a Jupyter notebook. So here we are. Now I have loaded in the data set as I have done in each of the previous feature scaling videos. Okay, I'll be using the fetch California housing data set. I have segregated into my features and my target column. Then this is my X feature vector. And this is my median house value Y target value. I have removed latitude and longitude from my calculations. So now my X looks like this. And now I'll be plotting my results. So first I'll split my data into training and testing set. And now I'll be using this function transformer. Uh, so before we were using uh, here standard scalar min max scalar. So here we'll be using a function transformer and basically we'll be passing each column at a time. So I'll say lambda x and what I want to do with this x. For example, I want to square that column. So I'll do x to the part two. Okay. So if I now check the plots. The squaring isn't working quite well for median income. And if I check for other columns as well, it is not going too good. So what I'll do is I'll do one by two. I'll just take the square root of those X. Now see when I take the square root, the distribution uh, got improved a little bit. So what is happening behind the scenes? If you see it is very easy. The maximum value was 16 and now the maximum value is around four. So why is that so? Because we are basically taking the square root. So each value in this data set is getting uh, square rooted. Okay. So we are basically taking square root of each value. So it is not working in, it is working little bit here, but we have a big outlier here because of this population, it was exceeding 35,000. So now it is also not working for the average occupancy. Now this was for, uh, exponents now there's another way to look for exponents so what we can do is i can pass in here a lambda function again can say lambda and here i can pass in np dot power this numpy is power function and here i can pass in the first value as x and the second argument as my exponent so for example i want to take the cube root so i can pass in one by three so now this will you see cube root is giving even better results than square root. So this one is good, not good, not good. This one is little better. We will look at log transformation. So for log, I'll simply do, I can simply also say np dot log one P. Now I can exclude this one P part, but my code will break. If I have any value in my data set that is zero. So if I add this one P, I have a little surety that if I have a zero value, then each value will be incremented by one and then uh, taken the log of. 
okay because this one p stands for one plus so for each value if i have five in the data set it will be five plus one six and log will be taken of six okay so if i have a zero log will be taken of zero plus one one which will be zero so at least our code won't break because log of zero doesn't exist right so now of course this won't work if we have uh, negative values this will still work if we have minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.7 so if we add one we will get 0 0.3 and all so so just need to be careful what values you have in your data set so if i do log of 1p oh this is lop 1p no this is log 1p so if i check my log you see log is doing such a good job at transforming my median income column then I check for other columns, not so much good, decent, not good, decent, population, you see, uh, population from 0 to 35,000 has been scaled to 0 to only 10 or 11. So this is the power of uh, using a log transformation because a log of even 10 to the power 5 will become 5 at the end of the day because the 5 will come down and hence uh, large values will get scaled down to very small values in the end. So this looks a so much a better distribution than this, right? So log is definitely helping in that regard. So as I said, uh, it works on a case by case basis. You can check uh, which one is working for your case. Like in our case, it worked really well on the median income, but not so much on the other columns. So this was all about log transformations. Now just to show you what is actually happening behind the scenes. If I uh, call a function transformer, function transform object and pass in here lambda x and for each value in that x take the log of 1p of that value x now I'll fit my data on x train of for example house age okay so once I fitted my data now I'll transform so I'll do f dot transform. Now I could have done fit underscore transform as well because this is the training set. But I'll just do it in this way here. Now this expects a 2D array. Oh, this should be np dot log 1p. Great. So now I have my scale values. So how is it doing the scaling? If I check for the first five values, if I do x train of house age dot head now this is six okay so this is basically adding one to the six value so now my value is getting seven and now we are taking the natural log of seven so this log 1p this is not to the base 10 this is to the base e so if i take log 7 to the base e it will fetch me 1.94 to make this more clear i'll use uh, np dot power and x comma 2 here now you see since i'm using one column at a time this x is a particular series now and if i was using a whole data set at once then this one x will be one series at a time where that one series is each column okay so if i do x to the power 2 now uh, if i check my if i fit and transform you see now 6 is getting transformed to 36 52 is getting transformed to 2704 so we are basically squaring those values now if i do 1 by 2 and if I check, then square root of 6, I get 2.44 and square root of 38 is 6.16, etc. So you see, uh, this is what is happening behind the scenes. It is simply taking the square root or cube root or log, whatever we are asking it to take and doing the transformations. So it works sometimes, it doesn't work sometimes. So we have to just draw uh, transformations like this before and after to check whether it is working or not. So this was all about exponential and log transformer. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next lecture. Thank you.